I assume. Yeah. That should be it. That should be enough time to get a little opening, so. Hello, worldwide. Well, I gotta turn this down. <laughs> uh, what? Okay, is that? Okay, there we go. There we go. Hello, worldwide web. I'm Dr. Shadow, the Universe, and the and welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. Been a long damn time since the last time I played, which was a long damn time since the time I played before that, which was a long damn time. I, I, it's, it's, it's still alpha. It's still alpha right there. This is al we're in alpha 12.1 now, though, so things have progressed. They have. And I'm going to be starting to fruck over, as you do. Single player, because I have no friends. At least not who play Empyrean Galactic Survival like I do. Just once every once in a long ass time. So they added a bunch of new things. Like you can ha pick different. Uh, Morior is the starting planet. There's also Uadorium and Devor and Diabiamin. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, the thing is kind of funny though. It's like. Uh, here it says difficulty hard, but behind my head here it says planet difficulty easy. So, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about, but you know. we'll see. I'm going to go back to Moria. I made a character. I, I did uh, start a new game just a couple of days ago, just seeing, like, okay, what's it like now? And one thing I was really impressed by was the fact that it... Like, when I first started playing way, way back before they actually had, like, round planets, um, there, the starting world, the Earth-like world, it was an archipelago. That was it. Uh, further on, they, it looked closer to what you see here, except the water tended to not be quite that large, but it was, like, huge land masses, lots of mountains, not that much water, which actually made the, uh, hover vehicles next to useless. Since they work really good on water, and that's about it. And then there, when I played a couple days ago, actually, found the planet that it created was an area that had large continents and large oceans, which I found pretty nice, pretty interesting, impressive, if you will. So we're just gonna go Deck of Shadow Gaming as the game name. That sounds like a nice name for a game with Deck of Shadow, who is gaming. That being me. So, without further ado, let's get this going. I mean, oh, now we have one viewer. Okay, we got something going on here. According to Restream, one person somewhere is watching this, be that on YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer. Radiated fog can be deadly. Indeed, it can. It can. Be careful what you breathe. I gotta remember the controls. What's the button to bring my helmet up? It's important to know. I'm going to space. Well, I'm coming from space, going to a planet. The name of the stream is that I'm going to space, but it's probably gonna take a while, honestly. Unless I get really lucky and land on, like, this, the, the most amazing damn. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is a. This is a large little. Well, that is a big landmass here. Well, well, we have a chance to look around soon enough. I got some little points of interest, like, that's an interesting little point right there. We're all surrounded. Maybe I, I, maybe I jinxed it, and actually we are getting some pretty nice stuff right away. Okay. I could live with that. I can certainly live with that. Let's take a little smashy, smashy, crashy, crashy. Right into the side of this, because that's going to be nice and safe. Ooh. Ooh. I win! Okay. <laughs> All right. Somehow I was... Okay. Emergency situation detected. Protocol has been initiated. All right. Ship status. Destroyed due to malfunction of the engine systems. Current situation. Fucked on an unknown planet. Pilot status. Successfully abandoned ship in an escape pod. How about that? Pilot health. Low, uh, but stable. Dot, 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 indeed, integrated data and ass assistant IDA rebooted. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you alive. To start with the Robinson Protocol, please access the escape pod inventory. Okay. All right, F the escape pod. Okay. Please move all the devices 
to our own inventory. Use drag and drop or shift and left mouse button. Uh, you can use the arrow on the top right of the escape pod inventory. Yeah, I'll do that one. Press escape, exit. Please exit via view. Please exit the view via the isk or the X in the top right corner. Uh, there we go. To familiar size. I, why can't I talk right now? To familiarize yourself with your heads-up display, HUD, use the mouse and hover over the various icons and information areas. This will reveal helpful descriptions and specifications. Click OK when you think you are done. Tip! You can use ESC to unlock the mouse cursor if you need to check the HUD information again. OK. Well, I can't say it didn't warn me. Okay, now let's check your personal data assistant mission perimeters. Open bit to F1. Okay, I'm a F1. It's okay, your PDA stores all information about the task you will encounter during Robinson Protocol or for other missions. You can also manage your active and available missions from here. Here, you will also find additional information and tips and log files in case you missed or overlooked a message. You can review them later in the PDA log. You can find all the necessary information for your mission here. Click on PDA log. To read the mission log. That's PDA log. That P, that's PDA, what, P, oh, PDA, PDA, where's the PDA log? PDA log, there we go. Cool! I have clicked it. Please open your inventory to access your resources and personal status. Okay, uh, system info will display your health, food, stamina, and oxygen in condition in the lower left corner. Food is going down, so I have I need to hurry on this. Uh, the values will drop over time or when taking extensive actions like jumping, space, or running. Shift W. You should eat an energy bar right now. Hover over it and use shift right mouse button. Okay, uh, energy that's emergency rations. Uh, energy bar. Shift eat that shit. Okay, boom. To improve your health, use the health pack as you did with the energy bar. Shift room! Uh, health pack. Health bandages. Don't eat the bandages. Health pack. Eat the health pack. <sighs> <sighs> Next, move to your survival tool in the jewel bar. Yep, that's a detector. That's a, a, a survival, t survival tool. Close the inventory, then select the toolbar slot and open the context menu via room and set the tool to resource drill mode. Pick up the ore ingots from the ground. They will vanish after a while. Hey, okay. Alright, we're getting... We're doing stuff. We're going places. We have something. Can I check this place? It's a nice little spot I dropped it. Whoa, hi. Oh, I did what... That sounds radioactive. That sounds very radioactive. Why is that radioactive? Maybe that wasn't the best place to land. <laughs> okay. Talk to teleport station. I can do that. Cool. Deactivate. All right. Is there a cargo pallet? It, what? It will change your reputation to unfriendly with faction Polaris Megacor. It's not like they're using this shit right now. Excuse me, I just fucking crashed on a planet. Oh, the fucking Polaris Megacore, they're gonna be, they're gonna have words for me if I salvage something that they had owned sometime a few decades ago. Uh. Okay, so once, uh. All the right, oh, 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 what is this wreckage here? It's showing red. I'm like, okay, so it is owned? Even though it's wreckage? That's kind of confusing me. Is there any cargo in here that I can swipe, or will you be angry at me for doing so? Of course, that means I can't just roll up on the alien towns anymore and just steal all their shit, I guess. I mean, I could murder them and do it, but... Uh... Oh, there's a hot dog plants. Plant proteins. Okay, I still got our hot dog plants. That's, that's the important part. This is still Empyreon Galactic Survival. 
But yeah, I was saying a while back that I wanted to get back into this. Partially because of the fact that I uh, was enjoying Space Engineers quite a bit. I'm going to go to the west to see exactly how large this lake is, if I can. Uh, I was enjoying Space Engineers. Okay, there's some more wreckage over there. I can tag that. I some dinosaurs! Some Parasaurolophonators. But, yeah, it says one view. Oh, there, Deoxys. Hey, Decker Shadow. Hello, chat. When did you get on? Uh... About ten minutes ago, I, uh, I finished the script. I sat down with my schedule in my face and it was like, script has to be finished today. Do it! And I did it. Which is good, because I actually really wasn't that far in the script. I know it's been weeks, but I was like, oh, uh, it's, it, it's just, it's been some weeks. But this time, today, I just was like, fuck it, it's getting done. And it got done. So, uh, happy about that. But technically, technically, I haven't quite finished the script. I still have the ending rant to write, but that takes 15 minutes, and I want to let it all the rest of it simmer in my brain for a bit. I'm going to film tomorrow, and after I shower in preparation for filming, while my hair is drying, I figure that's when I'll get that there. Just so, if there's anything else I think of before filming, I can mention it, probably. Though I'll still have additional notes, like I always do. I <laughs> just have things that come up and I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned that or that or here's an interesting thing that happened. There, there, there. Everything's red on the little uh, thing there. But my face is blocking my quest, but you can see the temperature, the radiation, and the little uh, compass on top. And a lot of times I would have blocked off and I'd be commenting it on a, commenting on it a bunch in the gameplay for Empyreon Galactic Survival, but no one could see- Oh, this is an ore thing, so let's see. Resource drill, there we go. What? Is this, uh, magnesium? Oh, it's iron. Iron's blue. Iron's usually red, I mean. I think this is just rock. Crushed stone, yeah. That counts as ore, though, so... We need to replenish your food reserves. Pick some plant protein or vegetables, Commander. Okay, I already did that. Okay, now I, I have to harvest and craft energy bar. Okay. Alright. Uh, right see, right see, right see. I'm still making my way to the west just because I want to see exactly how big this, uh, this water is. Oh, there's some plant protein. Right over here. Okay, just a second game. I'm trying to... That is a big old lake. Not quite an ocean. Not quite an ocean here. But, still. This is gonna... This is a big planet, so... Ah, fuck, that's right. It's gonna get dark eventually. Ah! I keep... Hello, Fighter5154. Ah, uh, you're getting some more iron real fat. I don't. I'm. It's been so long since I played this, and I'm trying to remember all. I, I should probably just do what the quest tells me and hope that it, uh, hope that it works out. Okay, craft energy bar. Uh, tech trees, factions, PDA blueprints, blueprints. Okay, that's not it. That's not it. Uh. Uh, survival constructor. There we go. Energy bar. Make that. There we go. The survival constructor can... Oh, I missed that. Okay. Okay, I can read just not fast enough. Oh, I am human in origin. Good to figure that one out, finally. I've been confused for a while. Straight up, no joke. And there we go. Got myself an energy bar. It does not... Oh, uh, that's right, it stacks over right here. I can... I know how things work. How many more plant proteins do I have? How much does this cost? Two plant... Pro okay, so I can just... Because this is going to go bad, but... Uh, faster than the energy bars, so... Let's just make three of them. I don't think I have to keep that open to do it, though, so... I am receiving a distress signal from a nearby location. I've placed a yellow marker on your screen. First look at your map. All right. 
The map offers you details about the planet's resources, deposits, points of interest, points, as well as other important information. Equip the detector in your toolbar and perform scans with left mouse button periodically to reveal poise and deposits within the detector range. Moving the crosshair on the scanned object within detection range, 300 meters for the handheld detector, will reveal more info. Okay, I was I didn't know that was okay. Large wreckage right over there. I gotta turn my ass around and go to the small place. Okay, so let's get the detector here, and I can go like, oh my god, oh, 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 that's a lot of detection. Okay. <laughs> okay, the large wreckage is eight hundred meters. Out. This wreckage is. Well, it says within 300 meters it should do something, but uh, that is within 300 meters, and I ain't seeing shit. Okay. I've got to remember to pick up enough hot dogs to make little food bars. Hot dog plants gotta love them. What is... something in red? I don't like that. Red means something wants to kill me, or might want to kill me. I'm not sure yet. Yes, I did. Resource, res- okay. Okay, so question mark, question mark, wreckage, wreckage, resource. Okay, we got some resources over here by that question mark, and that is a- I think that's a story bead question mark, little monolith over there, something, I don't know, I remember something like that from a while back. Hot dogs! <sighs> So one of those hot dog plants is two plant protein. I, 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 I mean, I guess it's probably different depending on the difficulty, but I just went with default. So. So. Oh, there's some bone bones over there. Hello, dino. How you doing? It's a parasaur. It's a parasaur. And it's a little baby parasaur. Who's a higher level than the parents. I kick hard. Now you should have put the Three's Company theme for like two seconds when they introduce all three from Hellcast. Oh god. God damn. God damn it. God damn it. I'm... Hmm. Ah, but they don't introduce them all together, really. I mean, it's... It's three from Hell's... Odd. It's not, like, absolutely horrendous. It is a letdown compared to, uh... Devil's Rejects, and it took way too damn long to make it. But I feel like Three from Hell is like a, about a 3 out of 5. Which, waiting 14 years for a movie, and it's a 3 out of 5, is not good. <laughs> but, it's like, uh... The, uh... The fact that uh, Sid Haig really could not do the role originally scripted because they waited too long to make the movie, uh, and they had to kind of... It's like, it, it took 14 years to come out, and then it effectively was a script thrown together at the last minute, so it's like, hmm. Third wheel joke since Kevin Spaulding isn't in the movie towards the end. He isn't in the movie past the first five minutes. <laughs> Oh, that is a Pachycephalosaurus. Or is... What the fuck is that? I thought it was a Pachycephalosaurus. What the hell are you? You got a clubby tail, no eyes, and big teeth. I don't like it. I'm uh, going to defense mode just in case. Okay. It's for self-defense. Thank you. Oh, hi. Well, technically, the game showed me what the log record was. I was just following the yellow marker. That's what I thought I did. Damaged Hoover bike, you say. Please wait for scanner. I'll wait for your scanner recharge. Silicon deposit. All right, that's something. You're getting closer. Uh, hold down left shift. Right. Yes, I, I know. It'll make you tired and hungry faster. Yeah, that's why I haven't been doing it. <laughs> I know how survival games work. 
Oh, boy. Okay, now am I gonna be told I'm trying to steal shit when I go up to this wreckage and I find a cargo container? Is someone gonna want to kill me for... Take anything you find with you. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's what I was gonna do with the wreckage back there, but you told me it would get people wanting to kill me because I'm stealing from them, even though that thing looked like it had been crashed for at least 15 fucking years. Alrighty, personal cargo box. A gun. Yes. Ammunition. A uh, yes. Iron ore. Yes. Aloe vera. How very quaint. A core. I always use a core. Motorbike construction kit. Steel plates. Electronics. Wheat seed. This is just a very convenient box I found. <laughs> Tomato sprouts. Yes. Yes. With the newly found items and devices, we should start a temporary camp. First, open the tech tree by pressing F3. It's Jabo rules. If it's in the desert, it belongs to them until you kill them. <laughs> Evidently. Uh, is that the only thing that I can loot from here? It's a pretty big wreckage for only one little container, I'm just saying. I guess it's just a big wreckage so you notice it, and then the tutorial's like, Go there! Take that! I real Is it just me or is this game prettier than last time? And it's not just mountains everywhere, so I got these big open fields, like open plains and lakes and I like I feel like also the hover vehicles might actually work now. Ah. Uh, I also have the uh visuals maxed out on my settings. Ah, that lens flare, that lens flare. J.J. Abrams would be proud. Uh, okay, tech tree F3, unlock craft and place. Okay, I can do this. Right, double left click on the portable constructor in the MISC tab to unlock it. Uh, MISC. Well, that's kind of a dick thing. Okay, done. As you see, some items are already unlocked. When you achieve the next level, you can unlock more stuff and craft advanced items. Now craft the portable instructor, constructor in your survival constructor. Your structure, structure, constructor structures. Small vessel, hover vessels. Okay, 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 okay. Survival constructor, portable construct. That's a heater and cooler. Constructor, yes. Water condenser, water and oxygen condenser. That's very important on planets that uh, definite the, the the planets that uh, don't have breathable atmospheres. Oh no no! Don't craft three of them. <laughs> okay, I got takes three iron. I could craft three, but uh, that's not really much of a need. Oh, I should take my candy bars and uh, make eight more before my plant proteins go bad. <laughs> I, I maybe eats. That would probably be a good idea. Just a thing. Just a... It helps to not die. Oh yeah, I should also check. Do I... Is this loaded? No. Okay. There we go. can aim down sights now. Shoot the sun. I don't want to shoot the sun. I don't. I don't have <laughs> anything to. I, I have 80 bullets, and uh, that's not much in this game. At least it wasn't last time I played. So I'm pretty sure that hasn't changed. Oh, speaking of time. Oh, yeah. T minus two minutes till the sunset, or at least two. I don't know. It's, it seems to be. Those seconds seem to take two seconds to progress. So maybe it's four minutes till the sun goes down. Oh, that motherfucker's back. I don't like you, and I think you're out of range for my gun. Uh, I know I need to place it on the ground. I was waiting for it to actually construct there. Okay, so I'm going to put it there, go like here, and like, hey, look at that. Bow! We got a portable constructor. There's temperature info on your head. Uh, yes. If it's too hot or too cold, it's not. Portable heater and cooler. Air conditioner. 
automatically level temperature around it. Okay, so it's an air conditioner you don't even have to set. I love the future! That is awesome! It might get cold at night, though, so I should... Probably, uh... Unlocking tech tree. Ow! All right, I'll unlock in the tech tree. Is that under the misc? I think it's under the misc. Yeah, it's under the misc. Okay. Ah, I get Wi-Fi. Alrighty. So. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Place a portable heater or cooler. You can do this. It'll be fun. So much fun for the whole family. I could also see, like, can I salvage this yet? I say, t yeah, oh yeah, I can get my steel plates. I say, take everything you can find. I can find this. Boom, there we go. So much faster than actually bothering to dig up iron and steel and all that. Glass. <laughs> Wi-Fi put on a Decker Shadow review? <laughs> oh, that could work. I'm so- I'm happy that I got the- it's- it's so frustrating. it's- ah, it's- uh, just YouTube being YouTube, it's just, like, everything's all full of stress right now, and it's- what, what was that? I heard a thing make noise. Don't like noise. Where's thing? Okay. Okay. Never mind thing. Grab the hot dogs. And grow back later. Okay. But, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's just the channel, like, a lot of the numbers are going into the red, and things aren't doing too well. I haven't put out a review lately. The last review I put out was a while ago, and it was uh, Wizard of Speed and Time, which didn't do particularly well anyway. And it's just generally a lot of things where it's just... The numbers are not looking good. Uh, YouTube wants that consistent output. And, uh, considering I've been very flaky lately, and the last video I put out was a while ago, and it was a less than popular review, YouTube is absolutely hating my channel right now and not recommending it out more. Uh, is, uh, and, uh, it's, the last couple of days I've actually seen a, uh, decrease in subscriber count, which is kinda, like, I'm used to it every once in a while, but not quite for several days in a row, and I'm feel it's, just with everything, it's just... Very stressful. <laughs> and that does not help in getting your brain in the right spot to be able to get your scripts done. But I got my schedule and I'm like, okay, nose to the grindstone, do this shit. You know? Like, financially, I'm fine. Uh, YouTube has this amazing thing where the more views I get, the less the ads are worth, and every month I seem to make the same barely enough amount. Uh, so, <laughs> and and uh, there's also been uh, one person live and wired who's been donating a lot uh, for the last three episodes, so that's, that's certainly going to offset some of the YouTube troubles and, you know, cash money. But I'm I'm just uh, like I really need to get things working properly again. Don't forget to pick up those terrain placeable survival devices if you plan on going exploring. You might save your life. Yeah, yeah. Survival tent sleeps for the night and is a respawn point. Okay, I think I already have one of those in my pocket. Yes, I do. Can I, yes, can I just put it somewhere, like, okay, that's fine. All right, sleep until morning. I, motherfucker. Ah, it's just way too bright. I can't get no shut eye here. Craft a motorbike from the devices tab and the portable constructor. Devices, devices, devices. Uh, 
Okay, so I gotta put the construction kit in the input, and then I can make a motorbike. And there we go. I have a motorbike. And I don't think I should be driving around at night because I'm gonna crash and die. Saw it twice in a row and third for extra stuff I missed. <laughs> I was, I, I, I was, ah. YouTube, just YouTube, and I'm just like, ah. But, yeah, part of the reason for going for three from hell is like, okay, maybe I can make the algorithm like me again with another Rob Zombie horror movie review. Okay. Yay, sunlight. I enjoy it. Oh, that's some depth of field right there, was it? Oh, yeah, that's some depth of field right there. Subtle depth of field, but definitely depth of field. Okay. Motorbike, craft, deploy. Okay, we crafted it. Deploy. It's very likely we'll run into some unfriendly creatures soon, so we need more firepower. Unlock a weapon from the tech tree and use your portable construction. I have a gun! I found it in the thing that... Don't forget to craft appropriate ammo. I know that. Tech tree. Weapons. I already know how to make the projectile pistol. I don't know the shotgun kind of sucks in this game unless they fixed it. Let's see, uh... Max range, 60 meters. Current range, 26 meters. Ugh. Current range, 39 on the pistol. Max range, 9... Ugh. Ugh. Ass rifle. What's the range on this one? 6,550. Alright. Alright. Tier 2 shotgun is also kind of ass. Light armor. Hmm. That's level 5. I'm currently at level 3. I got 19 points. I could make an ass rifle. Mechanical electronics. Okay. I have electronics, so... And it's automatic. Alright. Now to... Uh, Da, da, da. Let's see. Portable constructor. Electronics. Let me throw these in here. And some iron ore. What did I need for the ass rifle? Devices. Tools. Tools. Yes. Motherfucking chainsaw. Where's my ass rifle? Is it not? Can I not craft an ass rifle in the? Let me check that tech tree again. Uh, let's see. Where does it say what you craft it in? Does it not say what you craft it in? Uh miscellaneous. Portable constructor. Well, where is... Okay, base. Fuel tank, oxygen stage. Core, light, line, and a small constructor. So I need to make a base and a small constructor, most likely. Oh, okay, there's a... Servo... Oh, okay, that's, that's where... The light's on the lower... The lower thing, so... Uh... Uh, yeah, Ass Rifle does not have the yellow dot, so it cannot be crafted in the portable constructor. Need a small constructor, small vehicle constructor, large constructor, or advanced constructor to make an Ass Rifle. Dang it. Uh-oh. Uh, craft ammo. I can, I can see about doing that. Uh, where is my ammunition? I need copper and nitrocellulose. What the f- the hell is nitrocellulose? Okay, components. Components, components, nitrocellulose. What the fuck is that? Nitrocellulose is made out of plant fibers. Well, hell, I got plant fibers, don't I? 
How do I make plant fibers? Wood locks! <sighs> okay, so I need copper and wood, effectively. To make bullets. <laughs> this is a lot slower than I remember. I should probably make a motherfucking chainsaw if I want to get wood. Okay, this will turn the fuck around. Okay, excuse me. I'm gonna have to find copper. Is that damaged hover bike? We can check that out. Okay, it looks kind of messed up. Looks like I, uh... Can't really do too much about that. But maybe we can strip it for parts later. Alright. There's a wreckage over there in my camp. Yeah, wood bullets, evidently. Protein. Okay, what do I need to make a motherfucking chainsaw? Tools, tools. Chainsaw, mechanical components, electronics, and steel plates. Okay. Good, uh, yeah, steel plate. Glass, just put the glass in there. Crushed stone, why not? Uh, make a chainsaw? Okay, it's making mechanical components out of steel plates. And now it's making the chainsaw. Okay, drill charge, multi-charge, shotgun shell, uh, biofuel. Isn't that what you need for the shot, uh, the chainsaw? I'm pretty sure it takes biofuel. Yeah, ammo, biofuel. How do you make biofuel now? Where the hell's the biofuel? Biofuel, biofuel. There you are. Ten plant fibers. Oh, great. So I need to get wood to make fuel for the wood. <laughs> ah! Oh, uh, wait. I need that. Thank you. Alright. So. Oh, green. There's a faction over there. Okay. Does nobody do pointy tip spears no more? Uh, I don't know. But that does no oh, resource, some kind of resource over there. Let's tag that. Iron deposits. Copper deposits. Okay, copper. Copper, that's good. Question mark. Something red. Spider nest! Spider nest! Okay, get the fuck out of here! Not into the fucking rock! Son of a dick! Move, 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 move! Move now! Move and go! This is a spider faction! Owned by spiders! Those uh, freaky deaky plants. Alright. Alright. Ah, a lovely, lovely beach. Oh, there's slime still kicking around over there. How's night going? Ah, sort of okay. 
I got things going well with uh, the next review, but every time I think of YouTube, I get depressed. So, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Talon territory, uh, neutral with the Talon, okay. Uh, glad to know they have a little sign up. I just crash landed on this planet, I have no damn idea. Just driving around, exploring. Uh, uh, weird, weird, you're weird. I don't like you. Oh, hi, um... Excuse me, excuse me, no, 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 no. kids, off! Bye! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ah, there's lots of these bastards. Maybe they're not bastards, but there's still lots of them. Slimes, oi. Okay. Where am I in the this world? Oh. Okay, uh... Making some... I should head back to base. Uh, large wreckage, yes, that. I do not see it. Okay. I'm just gonna have to keep checking the map then. And remember, generally, I need to go northwest. But there's lakes in the way. Okay, there we go. I was hoping that uh, this forest isn't full of assholes. Wait, I am going to need. I, I went out this all this way looking for wood. I may as well take a stop and get some wood. I what fern gully motherfucker's gonna stop me? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Never mind. Okay, so I need to find out. Okay, I know what plant fibers looked like before. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. Uh, would that have plant fibers or is that something else? Spice. Oh, and I lost reputation with the Talon. Nine reputation because I took some spice off of their land. Motherfucker, it's growing out of the ground. Excuse me. Not every. How did you even know? No one's around. I got fucking little tags to detect shoplifting with the damn right on the damn plants growing out of the ground. Just fuck it. Like. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Well, at least those trees don't get in the way. I just clipped right through them. So I can't get any plant fibers from fucking Talon territory, because the Talon are grubby little dicks. Just don't believe in sharing. Whoa, 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 okay. Am I fine? So the motorcycle seems to move a little slower than I remember, but I also don't get flung around and turned backwards nearly as easily. In fact, it hasn't even happened yet. But a motorcycle also still has unlimited... What, what the fuck was that? Gasoline. Unlimited gasoline. Don't know why my chainsaw doesn't. I can make a motorcycle with unlimited gas. I think chainsaw would be a little easier. Okay, so here's my little camp over there. All right. Now let's go looking for fiber. Plant fiber. Delicious brand. Okay, yeah, heading over this away. I don't see the plant fiber plants that I remember from before, so. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's the hot dog plants, that's the healing plants, the herbs. Where are my plant fibers? Plant fibers, where are you? You look kind of like wheat, but not. You're strange and brown and come out of the ground. Kind of like what I'm driving on, but you're clearly something that can be harvested. Plant fibers, what are they? This is a flower, it's herbs, I think. Grain. That didn't look like grain to me. Uh, let's check these. Okay, this is nothing. Just like I suspected. Okay, what's... What's your big eyeball thing? Vegetables, of course. Naturally. <sighs> oh yeah, those are little herbs useful for crafting health items. Or just shove it in your mouth to keep yourself from dying and getting sick and all stuff. But what? That, what? Moisture moon? Moisture moon? It's kind of far away, but is that a moisture moon? Okay, we got moisture moons. I'm gonna hopefully be able to visit the moisture moon one day. That's one thing on Imperion Galactic Survival, I did actually leave the planet. Like, that's something I did in the past. Visited other worlds. They, they've expanded so much. So much. There's like whole procedural galaxies now. It's, it's something. It's nebula. And, oh, spiders! Spiders! Fucking... Eh. I'm just looking for plant fiber. Okay, you freaky ass thing, what do you got? Nothing? Really? You a nothing plant? Another nothing plant. Okay, what about this? Natural stimulant. Ah, it's coffee. Found the coffee. Some coffee, some veggies. Oh, we're not gonna starve to death. But I still need some plant fibers. I could probably use the fucking resource drill on a fucking tree. Probably making this harder on myself than it needs to be. Okay, let's find ourselves a tree. This looks nice. Motherfucker! No, you can't. Damn it! That's some bull. <sighs> How about this one? Does this one work for me? It's like half half rotten already. Uh, okay. How about defense mode? Does that? Does that do anything? Can I just knock the tree down by shooting at it a bunch? Seems like a no. Can I salvage? No, I cannot. Damn it. That's a triceratops. Drake's back. I think they removed them from a game the game for a while. So let's try heading down to the south end of this lake. See what we find along the way. There's gotta be plant fibers on this planet. Oh boy. Come on, come on, plant fiber. Planto fibro. Planty fibres. Planters fibers. Looks like more wheat. Oh, hi. Uh, is that your wheat? Is that your grain? Okay, I, I will be leaving. That was some nice grain. Enjoy it. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm heading east. 
Uh, hi, weird thing. There's things. Okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine. So I made a big turnaround, so I'd want to head west to check things out further this way. Oh, oh, I'm heading straight for the lake. Do not want to drive my motorcycle off a lake. Into lake. Ah, that's that weird little audio glitch again. Oh yeah, all the plants and none of them give plant fibers. I think that was just a herb back there, uh, the big purple one. I'm gonna check it out. Plant protein, uh... Oh! Plant fiber! Found it! I'm gonna grab all the damn plant fibers I can. Uh, do they go bad? Do plant fibers go bad? No, they do not have an expiration. Thank fuck. Where'd I park my bike? Okay, there it is. Huh. So. Wait. Let me just see. Uh, can I craft biofuel out of... No, I can't just make it in my pocket. Okay. So I gotta get to the little place where we're going uh, northeast. Northeast, northeast we shall go, get to our little survival constructor, make ourselves, is it possible to carbon date plants? Uh, they're carbon based, so I think so. use the brakes and it's not working fast enough so <laughs> thank you plant fiber where did I drive my bike off well we don't need it I hope I was trying to use the brakes Oh, there it is on the map. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I can't, still can't see it. Ah, jeez. You blend in way too much. <sighs> the truth is the plant fibers were there with us all along. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so now... Yep. Plant fibers there. Biofuel like that. Thank you. I uh, need to get some copper and... Yeah, the copper's right over the other spot, so then I can... Make some ammo. So I make two biofuels. Let's see, my tools, my ammo requires nitrocellulose, which that requires one plant fiber, so I can make four of those real fast while it's doing everything. And then... Uh, yes, we shall have it. We shall have it all! Plant fibers and stone dust makes carbon substrate. Okay. Okay, so now... Now I can say, hey, reload, refuel, shaboom, I have my motherfucking chainsaw ready to go. Now where is that copper? Shit. Oh, there it is, okay, phew. Irons, copper. 
hopper. Uh, fucking spiders over there. I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. But there's a further copper deposit. And there are trees. So. We can... Yes. There we go. Nine logs. Just take care of several of these. I don't need the damn spiders sneaking up on me. So the plant fibers are the mitochlorians are the same. <laughs> uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I just like how it's, it makes such nice, neat little piles of logs. Making lots and lots of wood logs here. Oh, do I? Can this work here? Oh! Idiot! Thank you. Alien tooth meat and alien parts. Okay. Oh shit! off real fast. No light available. Of course not. Bye. Okay, so we failed at getting copper. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Hi. I could find copper on the surface in a rock. It wouldn't be too bad. Like, I'm not even sure if I can actually get copper for real. Like, because I got my drill and such. Well, I don't have a drill. I got the rock. To I got this. So, let's see, uh, what about here, uh, weapons tools, survival tool, multi-tool, optical fiber, and electronics, okay. And a chainsaw, or skin. Yeah, the drill is a level 10 item. Removing, repairing, changing, rotating, and upgraded blocks. Alright. I need to be level 10 before I can get the drill, so I guess the survival tool is probably going to be the thing to work with. <sighs> okay, let's put these 34 logs out of my pocket and into here. I uh, don't have anything near remotely copper-like, do I? Let's see, food, food, food. Do we have no actually I guess not, so I gotta keep that in my pocket. I have the spices too. Uh, I don't think I can Yeah, I can't cook meat in that either. So, let's just see about making some energy bar. Vegetables can be crafted into plant protein directly. I have two vegetables, so I can say make two more of that and then another energy bar. Oh, wait, no. 
Vegetable juice takes two vegetables. And it keeps you from getting hung over, which is very, very handy for me. Especially. Just eat that straight out of the constructor. Gotta fill my belly. This is a survival game, and I must survive. Okay. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping to... I was thinking of uh, possibly playing The Forest today, just because uh, it's been a while since I played that, too. And, uh, like I said, I'll be getting an Oculus Quest tomorrow, and I'm wondering about streaming some VR. But if I'm going to do that, if I want to play for two hours straight, I'm probably going to need to get one of those little battery packs to strap to the back of my head. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, interestingly, from what I can find, in certain scenarios... Playing the Oculus Quest as a PC VR headset wirelessly can actually be better than playing it wired, not just because no wires, but... Have I played Subnautica at all? No, I have not. Is it... Can it be played in VR? I, I'm on a big VR kick in my thoughts just because I'm... Getting the Quest and I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, VR. Love VR. The only VR I played before was PSVR, which is still VR, technically. It's like the lowest end you can play. Well, I mean, technically I played Switch VR, but... That's... Does that really count? <laughs> is, is, is that really VR, or is that just head-tracked 3D gaming? Yes, there is a difference. <laughs> it's called presence. It's important. It's kind of sad to see there's no official VR support for this. I do have... I do have a No Man's Sky on PC, and I guess I could just VR that up. Uh, Skyrim VR is why I want to get a VR system. I played Skyrim VR. It's it's good, but it is... It is... You know, it's Skyrim, again. So, <laughs> I enjoy playing Skyrim in VR. I think VR is my preferred way to play Skyrim, but... It is... Skyrim again, and depending on how difficult it is for you to set up your VR, kind of determine how much you might feel like it's worth playing Skyrim in VR. So let's see, uh, can I, like, resource drill, let's see what rocks we can find. Maybe we'll find some copper kicking around. That's just a fucking rock. Okay. Fortunately, I have my motorcycle in my pocket in case I need it. God damn, what? Just rocks. Just rocks. Just rocks today. Okay. Okay, I see how it is, game. I see how it is, game. It's just... It's gonna give me rocks. Alright. Rocks and hot dogs. I, that reminds me, though. I do want to definitely play hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. That's a big one that I'm like, oh, hell yes. I've wanted to play that for so long, and they've had so many updates. They're, they say they're, like, on the final alpha build. Update 90. Like... They've added so goddamn much. And the latest thing they added was addressing something that was actually making me kind of sad when I did my research into it. And like, do they have this gun, that gun, that gun? And I was like, no, because the code is such a way that we really can't do this, that, or that. And I was like, oh. But then they're like, okay, well, fuck it. People have asked for those kind of guns so much. I figured out how to put together a KSG, and that's what's in the game now. And I'm like, hell yes! Yes! More. More. Okay. Wah. Fucking spiders. Seriously, nothing that way? Hmm. So I haven't explored up there. So I guess I guess we're going exploring, seeing if I can find a copper deposit that's not surrounded by spiders. Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. What is that game? And is it only for PC? Only for PC, yes. Uh, technically still in alpha. It's been in alpha for years. One guy is making it. It's pretty much a virtual reality gun simulator. And by gun simulator, I mean... You have just a ridiculous amount of attention to detail with the guns. So much so that... I think Polygon did a video review of it where they were saying how terrifying and scary the game was and that you know, so you'd have to be a sick bastard 
to like a game like that, so that's that's pretty much all you need to know to say, yes, you should check it out. Copper? Oh, yes. You know, technically, just saying, if it's out in the open uh, with the elements and everything, uh, iron should be red and copper should be green. Iron rusts and copper greens. It's both caused by oxidization. So. Okay. Wah. Fucking really? Why, why is there like nothing around? <laughs> Whole damn planet, not a goddamn thing on it. <laughs> I'm happy for the scanner tool, but jeez, what the? F uh, is that happening when I just pass from one cell to another? It's kind of freaking me out. Okay, this is a. Whoa, hello. Oh, that's more copper, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Alright, so we can make some bullets, which is important, because... Uh, how many... Yeah, I got 50 rounds of ammunition left. Started with 90, I think. And... Was it two or three spiders later? <laughs> I think only two. Fuck, does everyone own this goddamn planet? He's going near the North Pole. Fucking Santa's here, like, Don't you dare steal from me. Alien Santa's a cheap bastard. Two spiders. Okay, so yeah, like, ammo goes fast. Oh, I, oh so no, those are alien insects. They're not the most aggressive, but when you get real close to them, like I just did, they can be. Oof. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me! I don't feel the safest stopping in the middle of a forest. Spiders, you know. Uh, if I could get into an open field... Uh, I hear shit, I hear shit, I hear shit, I hear shit. Okay. There we go, and that was some copper right there, so... Things are opening up. We've got a little... Yeah, this is uh, this is more like I remember, where it's just very large swaths of land. I, I, I kind of like the planet that I got before, where it was actually m more continents and oceans. That is possible now. It's, I guess it's just not the most common, maybe. Not the... Well, this place is not super mountainous, like, and nothing else anymore. Like, you got your mountains still, and they look impressive. But it's not covering the whole damn planet. That more copper? That more copper. Now I have to kill Space Santa. Oh boy. Alright, alright. This motorcycle is still loud as hell, even though I turned the sound way down on this. Are f the, the mountains are flashing a little, though. It's a little disconcerting. Some graphical glitches. Fucking forest. I do not want to go into the forest again. I just want to see... Okay, let's, let's stop here. Let's stop here. And let's see what we detect. Fuck all. Oh. Oh. Level 1... 1.8. Uh... Something up. Shh, okay, we got mountains and right past the forest is more. Okay, we're, we're detecting some shit, but 
I'm a little confused. I'm even more confused now. So another mega lake. Not an ocean still. Yeah, this is not the kind of planet to have oceans, just giant fucking lakes. Bit of a shame. I mean, it, it's nice to be able to actually get around the whole damn planet in a motorcycle, but and I, I like the, uh, the feeling of a being on a planet that has continents and islands and stuff like that. I don't know, it feels like home. <laughs> oh, what's, what's, oh, I'm getting cold? I'm getting cold. No, no, don't freak, get back off the, just off the damn, okay. Okay, I can't, I gotta stop heading north. Or, what? Something. Okay, well, I'm gonna head a little southeast. Ah, fuck us through the forest. The Loch Ness monster type. Jeez, it's your, your glitchy flashiness. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. That. Right. There we go, getting warm. Getting warm. Closing up to that equator. That rock. Okay. That's still alive, still fine, still fine. Uh, oh, that's water! That is, that is, that is... An ocean? Alright, maybe technically it's a lake. Maybe you can get around it on all sides, but... I don't know, I feel like that's large enough to justify calling it an ocean. The unfortunate thing is I didn't bring my tent with me, and if I keep heading east, I'm gonna I'm beating the sun. It's gonna be night well it's technically gonna be dawn. Like I've Or it nah, no, I'd have to keep going west to ah. Oh, it's six fucking degrees. It is bad. Okay. Uh, heading west towards the sun now, I guess. How close was I to... Not even close. Not even close. Okay. Heading west... <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You're gonna freeze your ass off out here and die. And no one needs that. Ooh, that's beach. That is beachfront property. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful sun. Okay, I think we've got... yeah, that's... Alright, alright. And I think the Earth is falling in some way in the void of space every day. See, that's kind of hard to tell. I don't think that there's been anything detected that would suggest that. Or just everything is all in its own little. Whoop! Yeah, everything's kind of spinning around in its own way. The uh, whoop! That's a rock. The Andromeda Galaxy is eventually. I think it's supposed to collide with the Milky Way Galaxy, and. It's like the, uh, the event of that is not so much going to be, like, it's not going to be destruction, it's just going to be more coalition of galaxies. It's going to become sort of a super galaxy, I guess you'd say. And in doing so, the, uh, if the centers of the galaxies meet, the center of the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy, both of them are sub-spiral galaxies, the centers both are supermassive black holes. Now, what happens when two supermassive black holes collide? It's gonna be kind of interesting. Uh, of course, that's we're we're talking like, is it billions or possibly trillions of uh, years down the line? So, uh, 
it's just a uh, sort of uh, something to talk about right now and think on not something that really can do anything about or will have any means of oh is this a dungeon I feel like this is a dungeon did I discover a dungeon Is there any way up in this thing? What's some chosen motherfucking shit going on here? Okay, I guess that's not a dungeon, but... Guard post, ruined temple. Oh boy, there's a lot of them kicking around, isn't there? Gas is mixed and we might have a cosmic explosion. Like a bang? Exactly what size are we talking about here? Oh, the universe is gonna be annihilated. Uh Hello, Triceratops. You already extinct. You don't got, got nothing to worry about. I mean, I'm technically uh, the birds are still around. Like I ate some fried chicken the other day. Sorry about that, but like they're delicious. <laughs> People here building stuff make it look primitive. What is... Monument! Uh, it looked kind of monumental. Small farm. Small settlement. Resource 1.23 kilo. Jesus Christ, that's far away. Do I check out the monument or not? Well, chances are I'm not going to be playing this again. I don't know. It's like it... I, I like this, but the most I played it was when I was playing with others, and I'm not right now, so... It's hard to make guarantees. Plus, I'm wanting to get really into the VR stuff, so... I figured check out this monument, because it might be my only chance. But I am liking what has gone on with Empyreon. I really am. It is that the world is just... Alive and dangerous and mysterious. God, I need to get back to my little base and make some goddamn bullets. That's that's still my quest. Craft some ammo. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get back, back, back! couldn't trust these fucking things. <sighs> God damn, that hurt. That hurt. Uh. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, that is not a good sound. Not a good sign. Got no lights. To the Batmobile! <laughs> getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, I explored as much as I want to. I'm getting back to base and <laughs> making bullets. Oh. Practical for open. Oh, 
<laughs> the internet personality with the least blow. <laughs> oh, jeez, out! Don't text and drive. Fuck, now I gotta get my bike out from underwater. Yeah, I, I know, but I don't know how to put my helmet on. Ah, oh, God! <sighs> yeah, I know. I My bike's down there, though. I gotta... Got it! Okay. Don't you rawr me! Jesus Christ. So, uh, what? Alright. Your noises don't like it. How are you gonna... <laughs> yeah. Alright, Chai doesn't like survival games too much. Not like I do. Or it's just... Yeah, the, the fun is what you make of it. The exploration and discovery and dealing with bullshit just jumping up and biting you in the ass. Just in case. I do kind of miss how the, uh, it, it, way back in older builds of Empyreon, they're like, oh, it's a 50 cal, it didn't say it was a projectile pistol, it was like 50 cal pistol, and the ammunition picture looked like a 50 BMG round. <laughs> it's like, uh, I really don't think you realize just how big that goddamn thing is. Like, they added a 50 BMG to Pavlov VR, and VR players are like, holy shit, look at this thing, it's huge! It's like, yeah, it is. Whoa, 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 no, 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 Oh, God damn it! the Talon fucking, like, you stole my veggies! I didn't know they were yours! Excuse me! Yeah, I know the little thing said Talon there, I was like, eh, there's a little warning, but I figured I was close enough to my base, I was like, oh, my base is not in anyone's territory, like, that. Nah, not close enough. Fucking assholes, I swear. Dark Souls stream win? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just remember playing... I, I played Demon Souls way back in the day, and that was an absolute pain in the ass, and then Dark Souls was coming out, and the thing everyone was saying about Dark Souls was like, it's harder than Demon Souls. And it's not. It's 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 way more forgiving than Demon Souls. But now we got the Demon Souls remaster coming out, and I'm thinking, like, are they actually going to... Uh, keep it Demon Souls hard? Because... That might piss a lot of people off. <laughs> it's like, a lot of people who find out, oh gee, when you die, you lose your body, and you are now at half health, permanently, until you get your body back. And you can only do that by either killing a boss, which the bosses stay dead, so it has to be a new boss that you haven't killed before, or by killing another player in by invading their world. That's the only way. The only way to bring your soul, your body back, and it has to be a player who has their body. So when you have your body back, that's when other players come to kill you. And when they you're killed by other players invading your world, you yeah you lose your body. You got to get it back. This is one of the big things where it's just death in D Dark Souls in comparison is so much more forgiving. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I was able to get into Remnant from the Ashes, is because death in that game, yeah, things kill you. It's very Dark Soulsy in its gameplay style, even though it's a shooter. But death is extremely forgiving because they understand, yeah, you're gonna die a lot, so you know, you really don't lose much beyond your progress and whatever 
consumables you ate. Other than that, you don't, there's no real penalty for death. It's just, yeah, you didn't beat the boss and all the, that stuff you used, you, you spent. But resources aren't very hard to come by in that anyway, so it doesn't, it still doesn't feel like that bad of a punishment. It's just, can you beat this stuff? Yes, no, yes, good, go on. As Dark Souls is like, can you... Uh, with Dark Souls and Bloodborne is like, okay, you die and you dropped some money. If you get back to it, you can get your money back. I don't know how hard the money is to get, though, and how harsh a punishment that really feels like. And, uh, but Demon Souls, Demon Souls is such a big fuck you when you die, and it is just as easy to die as any kind of Souls-like. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so let's get this copper in here. And make ourselves, finally, some ammunition. 25, so I can make 250. There we go. Two copper ingots. I don't know if I have enough copper for that. Oh, okay, so I make eight ingots from one... Really? Oh, okay, so... No, it's, uh, five ore makes ten... Okay, so I should have enough to make as all of the things there, so that's good. Uh, yeah. I got some milk! It's effective against a bad trip, so if you're having a bad trip, you need some milk. Ah, dang it, spoiled food. Oh, well. That's good for making fertilizer. But... That's pretty much all it's good for. That's, that's what happens when the parish time runs out on a lot of these things. Okay. Ah. Feel losing your souls is not in the Dark Souls and the Castle and Regret. Mm. Yeah. I, I, the thing is, I, I don't particularly like playing PvP. <laughs> In uh, a lot of things, it's like I really gotta feel like playing PvP, and with the way it's done in Demon Souls, I never like the idea of oh, I'm just gonna invade someone's uh, world and gank them, and then get my body back that way. So I was just playing through the game at half health, and then I'd get my body back, and then I'd either die from something real quick, or someone would invade my game and just murder me, and I'd be like, God fucking die, get rid of it. Okay. Oh, you want me to craft a weapon too? Fine, I'll craft a fucking the gun I have. Oh, look at me making a gun. Are you happy? Look at that. Making a projectile pistol. Well, I mean, I guess this one does have its condition. It will go down, but I don't need a new pistol right now. I can't dual wield. If I could, uh, hell yeah, I'd do that. That would be awesome. I'd just run it around. Survival game! <laughs> Survival Decker go brrrr. <laughs> uh, doing double decker, watching him play, and an old review. Ah. <laughs> uh, and a how old? Some of my older reviews I did. They say you're your own worst critic, and it is true. <laughs> I look at my old reviews and I'm like, God damn, I could have done that way better. Who is this useless shit? Why do why do people watch him? <laughs> I have successfully completed the basic part of the Robinson Protocol. You should now be set to survive a little longer. Check for more information and health topics. Health to not health topics, help topics. Commander, I am scanning a terrestrial transport vessel of unknown origin in our vicinity. You should go find it. Uh, the motorbike is really only an emergency solution and does not offer any protection or transport capacity, even defense measures. Let's go! <laughs> that sounds like a fucking plan if I ever heard one. It's to the east. Oh, it's fucking right there! Jesus Christ. I, I can walk! <laughs> uh. Wait, it's the thing that I found early! Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I suggest to have a seat in the cockpit, then open the control panel so we can check what we need to fix. Okay, you can press P. The control panel devices tab will highlight missing parts in yellow. Missing parts, generator, and fuel tank. Exit the control panel and leave the pilot seat in order to start the work. <clears throat> devices, devices. 
Where the... Okay, up there. Generator missing, fuel tank missing. Okay. Cargo box one. All right, all right. Can I access... That's got some savium. I'm going to take your savium. How about... All right, uh... Wait a minute, cargo box... Oh, it's... All right, so it's the cargo box group, and cargo box two is the only... Okay, ex uh, check the required, but... Generator and fuel tank suitable for a hover missile. I can do this. God damn, I could have been going around in style and not caring about the water, just hovering right over it. I live and learn, I guess. <laughs> ah, crap! I, I wasn't trying to... Okay, okay, okay. You need to find the required resource. Uh, you could drilling with ice. Okay, I know. And find the components in containers. Okay, that's great. Save in plates, go brr. Uh, okay, so. Need to make hover vessel. Fuel tank. I, I wish I could just unlock it from here. I <laughs> It, tell, it shows that it's a possible thing to make, but I need to unlock it. I'm like, let's unlock the damn thing. Generator, fuel tank. Okay, okay, okay. Optical fibers and computers. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have a portable heater in my pocket. I didn't have to even make one. Okay, I'll heat this. Yeah, well, I'm getting double air conditioners. Okay. Uh... Okay, the Talon are still neutral to me. Xerax fucking hate me. Pirates are neutral, even though uh, the... Okay, I do Tech tree, uh, hover vessel, uh, small generator and small fuel tank. That's uh, it's possible to make already, so... Uh, hover vessel... You, me. I'm confused. Small generator, small fuel. These things say that I can already make them, yet this is telling me that I cannot. And that also says I need a large constructor to make those, which uh, I'm using the portable right now, so... Uh, huh? Huh? Okay, let's just, let's learn it real fast. See, it's... just do it. Uh, RCS and thrusters, something. Okay. Have a Discord yet? Uh, not really, not really. Like I'm on Discord, but I don't know how to. I don't know all the things of how to make a little server and actually have it be something worth using. So I'm gonna sleep till morning. There we go. Bright sunny day. Wonderful depth of field. Beautiful game. Okay, craft constructor and fuel tank. Okay. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a capital vessel. I'm a dumbass. Ugh. Fuel tank requires optical fiber. Uh, what is the optical fiber? Silicon. Great. Silicon was nearby. Uh, no, it wasn't. What? Yes, it was. Okay. North, east, northwest, northwest. I know direction. Okay. Silicon, silicon, optical fiber. Okay, grab the hot dog plants. 
Craft generator and fill dragon. Optical fire. Silicon, we can do this. No problem. Silicon right here. At least they're not sending the drones out to kill me immediately, like way back when you uh it, you would have to know what you're doing and build fast enough or else drones would come to kill you. Like it was kind of their take on the whole Minecraft style, hey, build your house, uh, build some shelter right away, otherwise zombies and skeletons and spiders will kill you. Except for the fact that there were already hostile alien things on the planet that would come to kill you all the time. And it was just like, yeah, drones will also just work on murdering you all the time. Man, this is going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> This is how I spend all my time in space survival games. Drilling. You know that. Of course we do, sir. Everybody knows that. Of course we do, sir! Okay. Now that I've started drilling, I'm ready to survive in space. I'm not seeing... Like, this looks kind of silicon-y to me. Still says 100% of ores left. So. Uh, maybe this is rock? I don't know. I don't see it knocking anything out, though. I'm getting a little bit on the concern side. 90% of ore left. There it is! Okay. Why is it? Well, I just dug my. I just dug straight down. That's that's a bad. You're not supposed to do that. Hello, Mexican Robin. Okay, I just don't know what I'm. I'm used to like every single voxel that has that texture. You take it down, you get something out of it. And I'm taking huge chunks off, and it's not anything. And I'm like, huh? Okay. Ooh, okay. That's drilling for silicon, as you do. That is, that is how I space. I just go down on a planet and start digging rocks. Uh, yeah. Uh, since I'm keeping to my schedule, I should actually, uh, be streaming again on Wednesday, I think? Let's see what happens. Uh, tomorrow I got a lot of, a lot of work to do. Be filming, doing the Patreon podcast, which I haven't yet. <laughs> it's really late in the month to still not have done that. Uh, it's, it's been... All kinds. And then I gotta start on the editing. Uh, yeah. But that's good to film and start the editing on that. I mean, it's it's been freaking months, so. Not months, it's been weeks. Should have been done much faster than this, but. 80% of ore left. Oh, come on. But yeah, I, uh, I was. I, I haven't done a Sunday stream in a long time, so I was wondering whether or not to even do this today, but I was thinking if I can get the script done fast enough, then yes. And I did! So then I had to wonder about exactly what to stream. Because, you know, EDF, uh, I've done a lot of uh, creepy numbers, and I have already played all the missions in Iron Rain. They just have not beat the last mission of the DLC, but still technically played it, so it's like, do I go and do that? What do I do? I don't know. Uh, what level do you get the podcast? Uh, the podcast is a Patreon $1 reward. It's just the the, the uh, lowest end one just to have something, uh, but it's, it's funny because it's like, YouTube channel members are... 
they don't get the podcast, but they do get the... Well, it used to be a riff. Now it's a reading. I gotta do that, too. Uh, but this Saturday is also the uh, Patreon live stream. But it's like, it is... The YouTube channel re member rewards are introduced there. It's a very specific... It's $5, that's it. And also YouTube takes a 30% cut, and they're like, well... I wanted to have that as an option for those who wanted to support me through YouTube channel memberships. But it's it's all the same stuff between YouTube and Patreon and Subscribestar, so I've got, I've got it marked down that it is the same thing. At least I should have it. That's what I remember doing. <laughs> and... At least I got it, so this isn't quite as annoying in some ways. Like, the, uh, the little marker there tells you exactly where it's going to chop into the ground, which is nice. But also, it just immediately goes into your inventory, which it used to throw around little pieces, and you'd have to pick them up until you got the higher tier one, and then you could... Then it just went right into your inventory, but... Yeah, it's... It, 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 it's all kinds of odd how it goes one way or another way or... I also think they used to have the one mechanical drill that took biofuel to actually operate, but I believe that no longer exists. Though they use the same kind of principle for the chainsaw, and they kept the chainsaw, which I'm fine with. I like the chainsaw. Forty percent of ore left. Okay, we're most of the way through this. But the podcast tends to be just an hour of me rambling. I never really have much in terms of topics, <laughs> uh, so I always end up just going on wild tangents. And what I try to do is I try to not talk about the same crap all the time. There's it's always you know talk about how YouTube's doing, and there's always a lot of the same things to say and report on every month which I find annoying, so I don't want to do that. And also, YouTube's been kind of crap lately, so I don't want to... I don't want to come and make a podcast and be all depressed in it. I really don't like that. So sometimes I've actually had to record podcasts multiple times just to make sure that's not the case. That's not what I'm putting out there. And it is... Yes. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Life is life. Is life. We all have the things we go through. I understand there's plenty out there who would be like, Decker, what the fuck could you possibly have to be depressed about? But, uh, I can't help how I feel sometimes. You know how it is. It, I just have to deal with how I feel. Try and work things out. 17 silicon ore. Nice. 30, approximately 30% left. Okay. I guess I'll just, just keep drilling. Just keep drilling. Just keep drilling. Drilling. Also, this isn't nearly as loud as the mining was before, I noticed. It's not even as loud as the motorcycle. <laughs> I'm terrible at telling my emotions. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Hello, Doc Silidex. Oh, we've got uh, probably about 20 more minutes of drilling, and then I'm going to turn off the stream. <laughs> oh. I started a new world, I drilled a big hole, and that's it. I have succeeded in everything I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, I really hope that they bring... If they would bring this to VR, I would definitely jump back, though I would hate those fucking spiders so much. I would. But yeah, the uh, Oculus Quest by itself uh, has about a two-hour battery, I think. Like, generally. I don't know, maybe. How much does uh, the battery train when you're using PC VR wirelessly? Like, does that, does that really drain the battery so much? I don't know. I guess most of the battery would be drained by the display anyway. So I'm trying to figure out, like, could I do a full full stream in VR with the Oculus Quest without needing an external battery pack plugged into it? Just 
hooked onto the back of my head. Hard to guess, hard to tell. Less than 10% left, okay. Well, I guess that was that, or at least. There might be some, maybe it would say I'd get more. I don't know, though. Yeah, that was 11 there. That's a good amount, good chunk. So I guess there's still a little bit to grab here and there once it turns off the little thing, but there are chunks that you just don't get nothing out of. Still not used to grinding and building, more of a blow shit up type of guy. Ah, yeah. That's one reason why I want to get hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades, and, uh... I want to try Pavlov VR, though. I'm not... I don't, I don't know. I, it, it is mostly... A, it, it, it's pretty much a VR Counter-Strike, so... I'm not exactly into the Counter-Strike. But in VR, it could be interesting, but then again, there's also people saying the, uh... The community is not very nice. And I'm thinking, like, well... Sounds like Counter-Strike. <laughs> so, maybe that's just part of the experience. Alright. Okay, there we are. I made a big frickin' hole. Nice. And I found some more iron. Oh, yeah, they kept the things that roll on the ground with the rocks above ground, which I guess that's one way to keep it in the game without it being a really annoying thing with dr drilling early on. Now, where the hell am I? Uh, southeast. Okay. Ah, so I drilled the wrong damn way. Okay. Uh. Ah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Uh, so that's that's another thing that uh, has kept me going in my own dark times is just the the uh, the supporting messages I get like that. So I'm, I don't know. I feel like I have a bit more of a duty. I can't just I can't just say fuck it and <laughs> that's it. You know, I don't know. Something, something. This lovely, lovely tentacle with flies covering it. This is as it was in... I feel like this is a much higher quality than it used to be, though. Like, it's animated, it's pulsating, the flies are looking nice. You got so much diffusion and scattering and stuff. I'm gonna get this. It's honey. It's natural sweetener. Just love it. Delicious. <laughs> uh, does, that ex does that expire? Oh, it does expire. Okay, it's not honey. Godzilla vs. Mothra Month. That was a lot of fun. I want to I want to get back to Creepy's place. I'm it's funny cuz all the crossovers I did with Creepy where we were actually in person with each other was before I had a driver's license. <laughs> it was before I was actually driving and I had to take buses and trains and all kinds of public transit and just it was a major hassle trying to get down there but I did it and now that I can literally just get in a car and go, we haven't. <laughs> uh. Uh, yes, uh, get that crushed stone in there. Yeah, more spoiled food everywhere. All my meat spoiled. I don't have anything to make s sausages with, so, uh... And I'm not about to eat the meat and go get sick from it. Though the parish time is a little confusing to me, because it's just... I guess low there now, but I don't... How does it work with the... Uh, never mind, I'll just, I'll just eat a bunch of energy bars here. I gotta... I gotta make more... Like, uh, it's not in there. Okay, so I gotta make that in my pocket. Parish time 19 there, so, yeah. So, anywho, iron ore, throw that in there. 456 silicon, that should, that should work. Uh, let's see now, hover vessel, what do we got? Can I, yes I can? Uh, I need to make a fuel tank, and was it a generator? Did they say constructor? Generator. I thought I said saw constructor earlier. It confused me. Uh, okay. And make the generator, and there we go. Silicon was all I needed. 
but it used to be that it, you'd still have to make all the small parts leading up to it, and it wasn't until a further constructor later in the game where it would make all the basic parts that you'd require to make all the other stuff. Like, it, it, it was a, the highest tier constructor that would do that before. Now the higher tier constructors just can make more stuff and can do it faster. But also, like, the survival one doesn't need an energy source, whereas further ones do. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, make a couple of energy bars. That should be nice and delish. Uh, Perish time 26 on that, 43 on the health. Mm, mm, mm. Cools down the body, too, the vegetable juice. It, it's... Quite nice for that, I guess. Put the spoiled food away. We're gonna construct ourselves some beautiful, beautiful hover vessel. Just f from a hover vessel that was already lying around, so it's pretty cool. Pretty nice. I picked a nice place to build a base if it was just right fucking there. <laughs> There's a couple of things can happen efficiently if I let it. I need to make some armor, though. There we go. Fragile ice should be placed inside. Use the left mouse button to place. Okay. Uh, where is armor? Can I have armor here? Yes. Mm. Unlock in tech tree. It doesn't show up. Oh, it does. It's just... Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to unlock armor real fast. Da -da 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 -da. Miscellaneous. Uh, that's not it. Uh, uh, tools? Is it in tools? No. Weapons? It's not a weapon, but okay. Oh, it's level five. Damn it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I want armor. Uh, right over there. And the Sims of Fridge is putrid. It has to get green gas. That's my... Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Now, I really need that multi-tool to fix things, but let's see. What is this? Uh, which one's the fuel tank and which... Uh, generator is seven, fuel tank is eight. Okay, so I want to put the generator in... S but I need to be able to reach it. And turn it on if I have to. Well, I guess I could probably do that from the... Okay, how about there, generator, and... Fuel tank there? Okay. To biofuel from plant fibers. I've got plenty of plant fibers. Chop down some fucking trees to do it. We can use biofuel for the generator. That's right. Plant protein. I can make myself another little energy bomb. Okay, let's make some biofuel. I want us to make two. It takes ten plant fibers. Let's make ten. Just, just make ten. Just make ten. 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 Okay. Frame rate occasionally drops a bit, and that's ah, it's a little frustrating. But yeah, you know, it's it, it's just because I got such a nice rig that I can throw everything in high, and it just works. Though I'm hoping that everything works out right when using it for uh, PC VR. It's like I have a nice little uh card in there. It's a uh, what is it? RTX 5700 something. I don't know. It's it's uh it's good, but it's considered like, hey, this is good for playing ultra settings at like 1440p 60 frames a second. And I'm thinking, well, I'm trying to go for uh the uh, Oculus Quest, so that's like 1600p at 72 frames a second. So, what, I, I'm assuming I can do it, but I hope I don't have to set things down too low. Because <laughs> I, I don't really have the money to throw another graphics card in there, and uh, I think if I would do that, I'd probably need another... I'd probably need a, another uh, power supply, because the power supply I have in there is adequate, but if I would have two 5700s in there, and... Uh, okay. Oh, well, all right, I made two biofuels. I have three in my pocket now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I th I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, 
excited for VR, but also concerned and all that. I know. I don't want it to be set too low. If I want to have a VR game that doesn't have too impressive graphics, I could just play a native Oculus Quest game. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Fuel tank, main thing. Alright. Main. That's not the main. Uh, the, find the fuel tank tab in the main display. Hit manage. Where the f... Are you covering it? Ah, yeah, no, not really, but... There's ammunition, oxygen, fuel, and pentaxit. I think that's for uh, hyper jumps and stuff. Okay. Fill fuel. Oh, three is only 10%. Ooh, we need more. Lots more. But we also, it's only one tank. How much is this? Okay, the hover vessel is now ready to drive. Before you should go back to the control panel, check the switches in the general common orders to make sure that important devices are activated. As an alternative, use wider power of a vessel. You can use the power slider in the control panel. Uh, in case your vessel is an oxygen tank, uh, now to station in space and see the lower and hover. Uh, increase in lower space and see. Oh, oh. I can't see in th third person. Okay. So it's got about 81 min- Whoa, this is a zippy little thing, ain't it? Is that 81 minutes of fuel there? Woohoo! Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> Fuck your water. Oh, and I have to make a detector. Oh, the, the turning it is a bit, like, harsh, but... Yeah. Oh, it runs over hills a lot nicer than it used to. But it is so fast. I don't remember it being this fast. And easy to control. Ooh, we're gonna need to make a lot more fuel for that puppy. Let's make like 20, 30 more, 30 more. Just, just make fuel, make fuel. Oh man, but it's coming close to when I should stop. Uh, okay, uh, detector, craft and add for, well, what kind of detector? Uh, I'm, uh, d -d 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 game, what do you? Uh. Uh, what the fuck? Craft at... No! I'm trying to figure out what do you mean detector? What kind of detector? <laughs> Is it for the thing or... Like what? Uh... Hmm. Let's see. Uh, where is what detector are they talking about here? Unlock a fridge, passenger seat, hover, engine, thruster, RCS, spotlights, cargo boxes, detector. Okay, electronics and optical fiber. Okay, let's, I gotta learn how to make a detector and make a detector. Okay, I can do that. I don't know what the fuck a detector does, but I'ma do it. I'ma detect shit. With a detector. We can detect now. Okay. Uh, detect? Oh, uh, let's, uh... Shit. Uh, can I cancel that one, please? I can't cancel the last one. Oh well, I'm gonna take this fuel and use this fuel. I'm gonna just access the fuel tank from out here. That's why I put it there. 30%? Nice. Need a lot more fuel than that. That's not gonna be nearly enough, but that's what we're gonna do for now. 
Okay, uh, it's all? Yes, all? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there. Come. D just give me the damn thing. Yeah, thank you. Alright, now... Make 30, 30. Just make, make, make 30, make 30, make 30. Uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, now I can add a detector. And I can complete this quest to detect. Now what the fuck am I detecting? What's on this side? I feel like the detector would go... Oh, okay, it's big. It's... Or it's small. It's big or it's small. One of the... T one of the... T I don't know. Can you just... Right, right there in the middle. Right... Motherfucker. What is... Block... Alright, okay, just... There we go. Congratulations, Commander. You have successfully completed part two of the Robinson Protocol with this hover vessel. Exploration should now be much more comfortable. Check the PDA for more information and additional health topics. All right. I can do that. Before we go elsewhere, I strongly suggest to build a sustainable base as a fallback, but also as a starting point for the upcoming adventures and long-range exploration attempts. The preparations, uh, you should look for a suitable area. Make use of the detector. A uh, base next to resource deposits or even water might be a good start. Start your ba own base, but you need to use a base starter block. You can possibly find one in a personal container. Uh, if you need to craft one, do so in the portable constructor. After you acquired the base starter block, equip it onto our toolbar. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, but yeah, we are hitting the two hour mark here. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh. But this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful! That is, actually. It's a very nice look. Whoop. Excuse me, Paris Ralphus. Ah, yes. The ocean. Or lake. Either way! This is amazing. Alright, I can pitch and roll. <laughs> uh. Whoop, oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, up, 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 up. Okay, do not, do not try and go down into the water with a hover vessel. Lessons learned. <laughs> Especially in the middle of the goddamn ocean. There's a Parasaurolophus. I can still see him from here. Or no, those are rocks. Okay. Boom. Do a barrel roll? Uh, whoa, okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Oh, hi, hi. What the fuck? Question mark? Ah! Excuse me. Wreckage. And... Wreckage. Alright, this detector's working. Alright. And... Whoop! I, this ship has stopped, okay. Oh god, I'm radioactive. What? Does that detector pump out radiation? You did not warn me about this. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to leave this here. This has been a uh, new start 
in Empyreon Galactic Survival. And... I'm impressed with how far it's come. Like, I, I still remember starting off and it was like, yeah, you can build a base, but the land has to be insanely flat to do so, and everything is just these plant things that chase you across the water, and they will walk on the water to come chase you down and try and kill you, and... Oh god, I remember the old videos of uh, <laughs> Empyreon Galactic Survival. Kind of nostalgic for it, but I'm just... I'm personally amazed at how far this game has come. Still early access, I think. But, yeah. They're doing... It, it, it's still... It's still doing its thing, and... I'm interested in seeing exactly how much further they can bring it. I mean, I, I remember when the planets were there and you couldn't go to the North or South Pole because they couldn't figure out how to get it to work on the map, and now you can. Like, that there, there is no longer a big wall that appears and says, sorry, you can't go there. When you cross between the... Uh, when the map wraps around and you cross across to the other side of it, there's no longer the big wall that appears to let you know you're about to zone across the world. Like... We got the, the big things that... There's, there's so damn much! I could map out this planet and actually have some typography, it'd be nice. Or I could actually do the, the cheap way, which is just go to space and look at the planet, and that kind of maps it out pretty well. <laughs> but, yes. Thank you all for joining. I have been Decker Shadow. I was about to say us, because I'm so used to streaming with Creepy and <laughs> doing Live and Wired. But thank you all for joining. I have been Decker Shadow. And remember... Shoot the spiders between their beady little eyes. Which means you're gonna have to shoot them like at least seven times. <laughs>